Hay Harvest Historical Society has been, we're on a very limited budget. We've been trying for a long time to file a 501c3 status for many purposes, but he's been gracious enough to do this at no charge. So he is working on that for us, and we certainly, uh, as president of the Historical Society, uh, we just want to say thank you, and I'd like to give him a round of applause. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm Alan Lawson, and um, I'm actually <coughs> from here. I always tell people that. When they ask me, uh, where are you from, I used to say Valdosta, but I actually live in, in Hayhara now. And it was really easy to find this place because it's on Lawson Street. It was named after my <laughs> grandfather, and uh, we have a lot of history here, and my roots are really deep here. I am not running for anything. Um, I do support a lot of the candidates here. There is a, a new position that has been opened up in Lowndes County for the state court judge's position, and the governor will appoint that position, and I'm on the list for it. So that's the position I'll, I'll seek, and whether I get it or not, I'll be running for the position anyway in, in two years. Um, there is a need in, in Lowndes County for, for a lot of different things, but one of them in the court system um, is alternative or accountability courts. And, and, I, and I just want to mention that to you because I just got out of one yesterday. Um, I, I drove up to Loganville, Georgia for an Army buddy of mine that got in a little trouble up there. And, uh, and, and I will, let me break away from that because I, I, I have a funny story. Uh, I don't want to upstage Jody, he, he was very good. But uh, my neighbor in, in uh, that where I grew up, Roy Taylor, wanted was asking me well you're going to be a state court judge i'm going to i'm going to support you and his friend uh, asked him well why are you going to support alan well him between him and his brothers they committed every crime that there was <laughs> on, on the books at the time so he's got experience in that area and that might be true uh, but anyway i when i was up in uh, loganville they have what's called an accountability court up there and gwinnett county also has a fine one as well the governor supports these courts there are courts where people seem to run into a lot of trouble repeatedly. I'll give you an example. The Gwinnett State Court has a 72% recidivist rate. That means that 72% of the people that commit crimes in that court come back to that court system. When they implemented their accountability courts, it dropped to 24%. That saved the county a tr tremendous amount of money. It saves the court system a tremendous amount of money. It virtually freeze the, the Department of Corrections up, the jail system, everything. It is almost a no-brainer to have these implemented. When I uh, graduated from high school at Valdosta, um, I, I went into the military, came, came back here, graduated. I was the first class at VSU that graduated. I was part of the first class. Graduated from Mercer University. And I've practiced all over. I was the Solicitor General in the Middle Georgia area for, for about nine years. And when my father passed away about four years ago, I decided to move back home. And uh, I, had, I was raising my three little kids by myself. And it was the best thing I ever did in my life. I, I, there is no doubt. It, you, you always make these decisions and you wonder, well, because I had it, I hate to say I had it made. That sounds arrogant. But I was very comfortable up in Middle Georgia. I didn't have to do a whole lot. Uh, to, to be comfortable and it, it really took a my, really my father's death who I loved and respected more than anything in the world I, I still struggle with that very very much so but uh, coming back home was something else but when I came back home I was a little surprised at our court system I I look at things that are really traditional really old uh, and I, I've been in other court systems that seem to work much better um, I'm not saying that ours is a bad system. We have some really good people and some really sharp lawyers here, very sharp lawyers. But we have no accountability courts at all, and we are one of the only jurisdictions in the state without any accountability courts, except for I think there's a drug court over in Moultrie. And to be honest with you, I don't even know how well it works or not. I believe Judge Hardy implemented that. But we do have two candidates here for Superior Court Judge, and I know that out of all the candidates, whoever they are, I know that the next Superior Court judge is going to come out of this room. I'm very confident of that. And, I, and that's the reason I wanted to get up here, because I think that we need to start having accountability courts in, this, uh, in our circuit. They help, they're cost effective, and what they really do help is for people to quit coming back into the system, for one. 
but the gentleman I represented yesterday had six DUIs, six DUIs pending. He had two pending. One of them was dismissed because I'm a good lawyer. But the other one, you, you know, you, you, you come to a point sometimes where you think, if I get this guy out, he has six DUIs, he's going to kill himself or somebody one day. And you wonder what in the world you're doing when you're saying, okay, I can get him off from a technicality. This court system had this whole treatment facility up as an accountability system, and I told my friend, you know, we were in the Army together, we served him, and I took him to the side and I said, I can probably get you out of the other one too, but I want you to consider something else instead. And he called me and left a message. I wish I could play it for you, but I don't want to. I'm, I'm interrupting y'all's time, and I apologize for that. He was in tears and he thanked me. He, he is starting the program. Uh, he's basically lost everything he had because of the DUIs. He, he was a CDL instructor, so he loses his CDL licenses. It doesn't get you out of the charge, too, and that's kind of what got him. He, it doesn't get him out. It's an accountability court for a reason. Uh, so he's going to have to face the music on the charge. But what I want him to do is to quit drinking and driving. What I want people to do in accountability courts is to quit taking drugs and to quit coming back into the system to deal with anger management problems. And there are all kinds, DUI courts, drug courts, anger management courts, veterans courts, they even have a veterans court and he, he was in part of both and they're really gonna help him. And I appreciate that because they don't wanna see him in the system anymore and I don't wanna see my friend in the system anymore. And I certainly don't wanna hurt anybody or himself. But anyway, I'm Alan Lawson, and I do appreciate y'all coming. I really wish more people would come. Uh, we, we have a wonderful community up here. Uh, the Coons have been fantastic people. This Church Street Coffee is just the place to go, and I, I get my morning coffee there, so I like to hear everybody talking politics. There. But I don't mean to interrupt any more of your time. My name's Alan Lawson, and I, I, I appreciate y'all coming. Thank you. Thank you.